Abzu is either a nice relaxing swim with the fishies, or a terror induced nightmare when you realise just how vast the ocean is. It's also available to play as part of the PlayStation Plus Extra Games catalogue, we're taking a look at the game on PlayStation 5. We don't usually cover games where common phobias might present a barrier to entry, but Abzu is an exception. If you have Thalassophobia, fear of deep bodies of water, Abzu might not be for you. We will be showing gameplay from the full game, so you can get a good feel for just how vast the ocean gets, and if that will trigger any anxiety whilst playing. We cover a new game every single week, so if you like what we see here, do consider subscribing, it really helps us out. And with that, we're diving in and letting you know if Abzu is worth your time. Abzu is an extremely simple gameplay package, but everything here is pulled off exceedingly well. If you enjoyed Journey, this is practically the spiritual successor. You swim around, look at the pretty environments, and interact with a few elements here or there. Swimming controls feel great, and just moving around is fun. Interacting with the environment is always a one button press, and the zones for the input to register are nice and forgiving. I really love this small inclusion where if you time your boost button presses correctly, you get an extra long boost with some visual flair. Getting the timing down for this feels really good, and is a small layer of gameplay that adds a nice element of engagement. Like I said earlier, the game isn't complicated in the slightest, but it has enough variety in sections to keep the player engaged for the full, albeit short, runtime. Abzu's puzzles are simple, either find a drone and lead it to a door, or follow chains and interact with the spools. There are no objective markers, but I found that every environment was designed well enough that they were never needed. In the drone sections, there are actually a few areas that drones can spawn, which keeps the game feeling nice and organic. There are also a few extra gameplay elements thrown in, like these mines, or getting out of the water to walk about for a bit. These elements are nicely combined with the puzzle elements to make everything feel a bit more connected. Finally, Abzu is also broken up with a few cinematic sections. There are a few where you get to sit back and enjoy the view, but these current sections make for great set pieces. I love how you can boost into groups of fish to make them swim with you. Once again, it's an extra layer that didn't need to be there, but its inclusion adds a nice little layer of depth. To cap everything off, there are also meditation statues that you can find to gain a different perspective on the environment. Abzu really excels in its simplicity, and manages to craft a short yet engaging gameplay experience with just a few core elements. It's not pushing the boat out enough to get the full 5 out of 5, but it certainly gets a 4 for gameplay in our books. Abzu is one of the most beautiful games I have ever played. Realism is ditched here for an ethereal art style. The ocean explodes with colour at every turn, and everything feels truly alive. Environment design here is top notch, and intertwines with gameplay wonderfully. There's plenty to catch your eye and make you want to explore, but the way forward is always clear, yet natural. Giant Squid have done a phenomenal job of crafting environments that both explode with life, and conversely echo death. Character animations are delightful, the diver glides through the water, and the extra flourishes, like when you nail a boost, or get some fish to swim with you, are divine. Even getting electrocuted looks and sounds both awesome and horrific at the same time. Game sound design hits the mark, the flow of currents sounds wonderful, and I'd like to give special mention to these mines, which are a fantastic soundscape contrast to the rest of the game. They are low-key terrifying. The true star of the art direction here has to be the score. Yes, the game looks this good, and I'm going to sit here with a straight face and tell you that it sounds even better. Austin Wintory is the composer here, and the job he has done is just so freaking wonderful. It's a very orchestral soundtrack with lots of string usage and even a choir in places. Every track takes these beautiful ocean vistas and ejects your soul into outer space. Austin also composed Journey, just in case you needed another reason to play that too. Abzu gets the full 5 out of 5 for art direction. Every element here is pretty damn close to perfect. The narrative of Abzu is one that is simply presented to you, and you are left to make your own deductions. 
It's not terribly complicated, but there is a nice amount of room to think. It's very much a story about the beauty of life and stopping to take everything in. I do think we veer a bit too much into vague storytelling, which does hurt the overall impact of the narrative elements of Abzu. Personally, I always found I was just more interested in how the environments looked, rather than what it was all there for, or what anything meant. The themes present are pretty clear, but not really explored any deeper than surface level. To be clear, the narrative is absolutely not what we're here for, and it is absolutely serviceable, with a little bit of vague depth. It's like window dressing to the, uh, window dressing, and it gets a middling 3 out of 5. Abzu is a compact content package with very limited settings. The whole game is technically sound and we experienced no bugs whilst playing. Content wise, you're getting a short experience, but the package does feel complete. There are the extra meditation statues to find, and you can select chapters to replay at your leisure. In terms of settings, you can invert your swim pitch, camera pitch, and camera yaw. That's all you get, but there aren't any other settings Abzu really needs. The controls are nice and simple, and there is never any rush for inputs. There's no voice acting, so no subtitle options are needed, and the game as a whole is just massively accessible. If I'm being really pedantic, it'd be nice to have an option for button prompts to come up when you can interact with things, just in case you need a reminder of the controls, but that is certainly not enough to knock a point off. Abzu gets the full 5 out of 5 for specs, it is a feature complete package and polished to a shine. Settings are limited, but further settings are really not needed for a game this accessible in its base form. It took me an hour to beat Abzu. This is a wonderfully compact experience. I definitely recommend sitting down and playing through the whole thing in one go, but the game is nicely divided up into chapters, so if you do want to break up the game even further, you absolutely can. Hard drive footprint is nice and small at 2.4GB. Abzu gets a short and sweet 5 out of 5 on our commitment scale. It is immensely easy to fit this game into your free time, and manages to be a great experience despite its short length. The tiny hard drive footprint is also really nice. Abzu is fantastic. It's not a very complicated game, but it does almost everything it attempts very well. My big recommendation of Abzu is that it makes a great first game. If there's someone in your life that isn't massively into video games, this is a great introduction with simple controls and a gorgeous art style. However, Abzu is truly a great little experience for any type of player. In a sea of bloated games that try to appease everyone, Abzu stands out by staying simple and not being afraid to be itself.